Hi guys, my name is Behruz. Let's continue to complete our handle method for our server. So we do have a two more primary send method that we need to create. We have this send to get blocks function and all this is really doing is it's sending from one our peer to another that we want to get the blocks from their blockchain. So we need a way of just saying, okay, we'll, uh, we need uh, to get some information from another peer so we'll take and we'll make a get block structure with the node uh, with a node address inside of it and then we'll make uh, our request by appending a, a get blocks uh, get blocks uh, structure get blocks uh, to the payload and then we'll call a send data with the address that's being passed in here uh, and uh, the request will do the same uh, for getting data. This time, however, we also have uh, address kind and ID to create a get data message and we pass the get data to the payload and serialize the command on data and send a request to, uh, to get data message. Then we need a method that will allow us to handle those messages. So we'll create a, uh, handle, uh, handle address first. So the handle address method will take a message from the, from the command. And then we need to walk through to the message and pass the uh, message to the uh, add the nodes. Uh, method to pass all addresses existing in the node to the known nodes. Now let's handle receiving a block from another peer. We need to add a block to uh, our blockchain and we'll create a new function called add block and we'll change uh, our old method in our blockchain from um, Chain from uh, add block into a mine block, and we'll get to do that uh, in uh, the next video. So, this uh, will then essentially just add the block to the blockchain. Then, we want to check to see how many blocks are in a transit. You have more block in a transit, then uh, we, we want to take the first block in a transit and put uh, into the block hash, and then we call a send get data on a payload address from a passing the block command and then pass in the block hash. So this, this, so this will essentially go and get the next block. If there is one, it will iterate it through the block in a transit and uh, transit variable that we have. So it will get rid of the zero index and move down the index. If there are more, otherwise we just want to create a uh, UTXO set and then re-index uh, the UTXO so uh, that we can properly read the, the blockchain. Let's look at the handle get block method. This is very similar to the other function that we've been looking at thus far. So uh, then we want to call a get block hash, which will uh, get all uh, hash from the blockchain. Again, this is another method that we'll create in the next tutorial. And then we call a send inventor inventory with all, uh, all the blocks hashes inside of it, and which will allow us to essentially hold an inventory of all of the different hashes. And then if uh, one of the blockchain doesn't have the same hash as we can say that, uh, okay, change the blockchain or redownload the blockchain. We then have a handle get data method. This will take a request. Uh, we have some if statement here. We want to check the payload type and if the payload type is a block, then we want to get a block from our blockchain. So we'll call a method that will create in the next tutorial, call it a get block, which will go into the blockchain and get the block based on the payload ID, which will be in a, a string or work of string and then we'll pass it to the block 
to all of the other peers to uh, to that peer so that they can actually download it if we have a transaction uh, how uh, however that we want to take the pile payload ID and cut it into the string and then add it to the memory pool and then uh, we can send a transaction so that all the other peers now that there is a transaction being based uh, around now let's look at how we can handle the version we want to get the best height uh, from our blockchain which is again using this method which will create a next tutorial which will allow us to receive the length of the blockchain then we want to get uh, other height which uh, will be the best height inside of the our version structure and we want to check to see if the best height of our local machine is less than the other height machine then other blockchain from uh, the other peers has more blocks in it and if it does then we need to send to get blocks command to that uh, so that we can actually sync up our blockchain however if our best height meaning our local blockchain has more of a length than the other height then we want to call a send version function and pass in a peer that we want to send it to as well as our blockchain so that they can download our uh, blockchain we also run this of node is known and to ch known check so that we can actually add our blockchain node uh, so we can add the address uh, address of the application that's checking to see if it needs to download the blockchain if it isn't already in the nodes known node is uh, pretty simple we just to oh we check if the address already in the known nodes we return uh, true if uh, if wasn't we return false we need to be able to handle transaction because our wallet will be sending transaction to uh, our miner and to our central node and we want to add uh, the transaction to our memory pool with the uh, with the key being the transaction id and also as a value we pass a transaction and then we want to check to see if the node address is the centralized node meaning the main node then we want to trade through the each of the known our known nodes and if the node inside of the known node is not equal to the node address and the node is not equal to the payload address from then we need to send the inventory with the transaction inside of it uh, to the address uh, this will be for all the other nodes that are uh, not the central node and not a minor node for all of the minor nodes however we want to check to see what the length of our memory pool is and if we have more transaction than two and if the length of our minor address variable actually exists meaning we do have a minor that we want to call a uh, minor transaction so we use a loop to mine our transaction inside the, our loop we'll create a variable for blockchain transaction we'll then trade through our memory pool and we'll, uh, we'll take uh, each of the transaction from uh, from the memory pool and then verify those transaction we talk about the verified transaction in next video if after we verify all those transactions we get back empty uh, empty for our transaction then we know that all of our transactions are invalid if however they do pass a verification we want to then create a coinbase transaction at the minor address inside of it uh, then we'll take uh, the coinbase and add it to our transaction then we want to trade through each of the transaction and delete it from our memory pool uh, one at a time then we create a new block by calling a mine block on the transaction 
and then we use the UTXO set to re-index the blockchain then uh, we want to go through uh, each of the nodes uh, and uh, send uh, this new block was created so this will then go ahead and update your blockchain to reflect the new mine block then if our memory pool is empty we break the loop and uh, end of the loop we clear the memory pool finally we need the method to handle inventories uh, inside the handle inventory if the payload type is a block then we want to add a payload items to our blocks in a transit then take our payload item zero index at the get uh, get the block hash and then call a send data to see if we can uh, get the data block from any other blockchain and if this come back and we do get the data and we want to create a new transit which will be a, a VEC new uh, and then we'll trade through our blocks uh, in, a in the transit and we'll compare the block uh, cache to see if they are the same and if they aren't the same then we'll be at uh, to our new transit and then we'll replace uh, we replace uh, our blocks in a transit with the new transit uh, as you can see it's really pretty simple we get the block transit and uh, we clone the hash to the uh, block in transit and then if a payload type is transaction uh, then we want to get the first transaction id and we want to take that transaction and check to see if it's inside of our memory pool or not and if it isn't and we can call a send get data then we can call with the transaction and then the transaction id now that we have all handle uh, methods uh, for handling the message now let's go forward to uh, create our uh, connection server connection so for a start server method we create a, a new server with the existing node addresses and mining addresses and also we clone the inner and also we start uh, uh, start to check the best height in the background uh, with the thread spawn to check if the best height is equal to negative one we need to request a, a block from the uh, all known addresses so uh, then uh, if uh, greater than negative one we send a version to update uh, our blockchain then we use a TCP listener to listen to all incoming uh, uh, client or nodes so after we use a for loop to get the stream we create a new server and uh, with this server we check the handle connection with the current stream and the stream is contain a command and data to handle the, all the messages okay guys uh, i hope you enjoyed this uh, video uh, in the next video i'm going to complete and uh, all of the method we need to create in our blockchain so uh, i hope you enjoy take care bye